Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Why Joan Vasso's Golden Bachelorette Season Will Fail There doesn't seem to be much hope that Joan Vasso's Golden Bachelorette Season will end with a happily ever after. News has already come out about one suitor's past restraining order. Jen Tran's Bachelorette winner and ex France also had a restraining order that the show's background checks seemingly missed. But scandals aside, there's another reason why fans think the season was set up to fail from the start. Keep reading to see why. The Jerry Turner Effect Jerry Turner let millions of Bachelor Nation fans down. He married Theresa Nist weeks after viewers watched him propose on the Golden Bachelor Fennel. But the marriage was short-lived. They announced they were divorcing after three months of marriage. Neither of the seniors wanted to uproot their lives and move away from their families. The scandalous turn of events soared many viewers on the beloved franchise. Things only got worse with Jen Tran's Bachelorette season. Some fans speculated from the beginning that none of her suitors were on the show to find love. Her engagement to Devon Strader ended after two months. Now the network wants fans to invest again in Joan Vasso's season of The Golden Bachelorette. Why Joan Vasso's Golden Bachelorette season will fail Joan wasn't even on Jerry Turner's season for long so some fans aren't emotionally connected to her. But the main issue holding viewers back is Joan's own words. She said from the beginning that she wouldn't relocate for her final Rose winner. Furthermore, she added that an engagement wasn't her main objective in doing the show. One Bachelor Nation fan took to Reddit to discuss whether Joan set her season up to fail from the beginning. All of these guys have family and other roots in their hometown, and no matter who she chooses, they'll be in the same boat as Jerry and Theresa were. Neither one could just pick up and move, they wrote. The social media user added, even for 20-something bachelors and bachelorettes, it can be difficult if they have an established career someplace, but these Goldens are definitely dug in wherever they live now. Bachelor Nation fans weigh in. Many other viewers were in agreement that Joan's season won't end with a happily ever after. Several suggested the show should cast suitors that live in the same area as the lead. Check out some thoughts from fans about Joan's season. I agree. A prerequisite to even be a contestant should be that you are willing to relocate to the lead's area. I think the Golden Series should be regional and the people selected should live within a certain distance of the lead so they don't have to do any major relocating. She'll go with the guys who express being willing to move to her or her move to them, and I honestly think it'll be an easier time than Jerry's season. I wish they would do it love is blind style and just get people from the same areas. I was saying this all episode long, even if they do the long distance thing, it sounds like that's not really what Joan wants in her life when she describes why she's going on this journey. So yes, it seems like this is destined to not last. As Joan Vassos prepares to take center stage in her unprecedented role as the Golden Bachelorette, expectations are soaring. The 60-something Wido, known for her radiant beauty, poised demeanor and genuine charm, seems like the perfect candidate to lead this groundbreaking season of the beloved dating show. With a life full of experiences, a heart that has survived both love and loss, and a readiness to embrace new beginnings, Joan's journey promises a refreshing contrast to the youth-centric drama that has dominated reality TV for so long. But despite the glitz, glamour, and hopeful buzz surrounding her season, there's a storm brewing just beneath the surface, one that will likely lead to failure. Here's why Joan Vasso's Golden Bachelorette season is poised to unravel, much to the dismay of its eager audience. 1. The Nostalgic Idealism Trap Joan Vasso's allure lies heavily in nostalgia, a quality that appeals to both older viewers who long for a return to the days when love was simpler, and younger viewers enchanted by the notion of timeless romance. But nostalgia is a tricky lens through which to see the world. Joan's story will inevitably be framed as a search for one last great love, and the show's producers will lean hard into that narrative, pushing for a fairy tale that might not exist. Reality shows thrive on unrealistic ideals, but real life, especially for someone who has lived through as much as Joan, rarely fits into neat, romantic boxes. Joan's wisdom, strength, and emotional depth might clash with the overly idealized, formulaic version of love the show tends to offer. Viewers will tune in for feel-good romance, but Joan may not be able to deliver the simplistic storyline they crave. Her journey may end up being too nuanced, too real, 
for the show's glossy facade, creating a disconnect between expectations and reality. 2. Age isn't just a number, it's a cultural divide. Despite the initial excitement around a more mature bachelorette, Joan will be navigating a cultural landscape that isn't entirely designed for her. The Bachelor franchise is deeply rooted in the habits and tropes of a younger generation, from social media obsession to drama-fueled eliminations, the pacing, themes, and energy of the show may feel forced in a more age-diverse setting. Joan, with her life experiences and mature perspective, might struggle to adapt to the fast-paced, often frivolous nature of reality TV. The format demands quick, explosive connections and heart-wrenching eliminations. But a woman in her 60s with a lifetime of wisdom may not see love or relationships through the same lens. The inherent contrast between her thoughtful, deliberate approach to love and the show's superficial structure could lead to a jarring experience, both for her and for the audience. 3. The Contestant Problem – Age and Compatibility Another looming issue is the cast of men who will be vying for Joan's heart. While Joan represents elegance and emotional intelligence, her suitors may not all fit the bill. There's a delicate balance between providing age-appropriate candidates and creating the drama-filled dynamic that keeps viewers hooked. Unfortunately, casting older men won't necessarily solve this problem. Older contestants might bring their own baggage, trauma, or ego to the table, leading to conflicts that feel heavier and more personal than the youthful squabbles typically seen on the show. Additionally, while younger seasons of The Bachelorette rely on physical attraction and rapid chemistry, Joan's season will need to focus on emotional compatibility and deep connection. However, emotional vulnerability can't always be captured in soundbites, and the show's format may struggle to convey the subtleties of genuine, grown-up love. The producers will likely fall back on the usual antics, arguments, misunderstandings, and exaggerated drama to keep viewers engaged. But these distractions will only serve to detract from Joan's authentic quest for love, leaving her isolated in a sea of immature theatrix. 4. The Ratings Gamble Younger viewers aren't interested. Despite the show's attempt to cater to a more mature demographic, there's no escaping the reality that younger viewers who drive the show's social media engagement and cultural buzz may simply not care. The Bachelor franchise is heavily marketed toward millennials and Gen Z, and the themes they gravitate toward, youth, beauty, and the dizzying excitement of new love, don't translate easily to Joan's more reflective journey. Even if Joan Vasso's wins over the hearts of an older audience, that might not be enough to sustain the show's success. Ratings could suffer as the younger demographic tunes out, uninterested in watching a slower, more contemplative version of romance. Without the flashy drama and social media buzz, the network may pull back support, leading to a truncated or poorly supported season that fails to live up to its potential. 5. Reality TV's Relentless Focus on Imperfection One of the cruel truths of reality television is that it thrives on exposing flaws, imperfections, and messiness. The Bachelor franchise, in particular, loves to create heroes and villains, and the audience is quick to latch onto dramatic, controversial figures. Joan, with her graceful maturity, may not offer the kind of chaotic moments that reality TV thrives on. In fact, her steadfast composure might make her seem too perfect in the eyes of viewers who have been conditioned to expect tearful breakdowns, jealousy, and impulsive behavior. Producers will likely struggle to manufacture drama around Joan, leading them to dig into her personal life, her widowhood, and her past relationships in ways that may feel exploitative.